the right stuff. Doc McStuffins and her toys were on a playtime mission. They had to work together to take the sparkly ball of sparkles back to the Wicked King. The sparkly ball of sparkles is over there in the lost temple, Doc whispered, pointing across the back garden. Chili and Squeakers were guarding the entrance to the temple, but Doc had a plan. Lammy would distract Squeakers with a cuddle while Stuffy sneaked past Chili on the rocket sledge. There was just one problem. Stuffy had torn his tail on a bush and stuffing was coming out, but he didn't tell anyone. He knew brave dragons didn't complain about a little stuffing leak. Unfortunately, Stuffy's loose stuffing got caught in the rocket sledge's wheel and went flying through the air. Chili, the temple guard, tried to stop Stuffy from entering, but he quickly backed off when he heard Stuffy's brave dragon roar. Not only did Chili let Stuffy go inside, he followed him too. Stuffy, your stuffing called, Doc. It's falling out. You better tell him. Chili, I can't, Stuffy said. I have to show everyone I'm a big brave dragon, and big brave dragons don't ask for help. Stuffy searched until he found the sparkly ball of sparkles. Then he ran out of the temple, but Chili was trapped inside. Doc suggested that Stuffy fly over so Chili could grab onto his tail, but Stiffy knew it wouldn't work. His tail was now totally unstuffed. Stuffy jumped into Doc's arms. I think there might be something wrong with me tail, he confessed. It's very brave to ask for help, Stuffy, Doc said. Let's get you a checkup. Inside the clinic, Doc diagnosed Stuffy with a case of fur tailitis. Doc knew how to fix it, but there was just one problem. She didn't have all his stuffing. Haley, Lammy, and Squeakers had the solution. They searched the garden and gathered up all of Stuffy's loose stuffing. Doc stuffed it back in and tied up one of the threads of his tail. There you go, Stuffy, Doc said with a smile. Good as new. Now that my tail is better, I feel braver than ever, Stuffy said. Raw.